This eye thread lift is technically illegal because it's being carried out by a fake doctor. Here in Thailand, they're known as bag doctors since they travel from client to client with all their tools of the trade in a bag. They charge hundreds of dollars less than licensed clinics. And things can go wrong. Just one bad injection could nearly ruin a person's face forever. The demand for aesthetic treatments is exploding across Asia. What's the most dangerous thing is that it doesn't end. And unrealistic beauty standards are driving more and more people to seek out underground operators. So why are people gambling with their looks? And what is the true cost of rolling the dice? Molly Kansana Pupiang works as an MC at a nightclub here in Bangkok. For her, looks are everything. She got her first nose job at 16. Now she's about to get her fifth. She says each procedure is inspired by the current trend, and this one's no different. Dr. Natawood Wiwat Janasudin is a legitimate doctor. But for years, Molly got Botox injections and thread lifts from a nurse who wasn't qualified for cosmetic procedures. Until March 2022, when it all went wrong. A simple filler injection in her cheeks turned into a nightmare after a bag doctor hit a blood vessel. It took two weeks for her to recover. She was even featured on local TV. Despite the ordeal, Molly still wants more. Aesthetic surgery has grown worldwide by more than 40% over the past four years. And in Thailand, the market value is an estimated $1.8 billion. Between 2021 and 2022, the number of reported procedures jumped by 25%, the most popular being eyelid surgery, rhinoplasty, and Botox injections. The country's become one of the top destinations for so-called medical tourism. While foreigners tend to seek out authentic clinics, there's an entire underworld of unqualified doctors performing facelifts, tummy tucks, and countless other procedures. And in South Korea, there have been cases where surgeons have delegated procedures to unqualified assistants, while the patient was unconscious. Now the country is the first to mandate cameras in operating rooms. A reputable clinic in Thailand could charge roughly $280 for a thread lift, but bag doctors only ask for around $60. Unlicensed practitioners are now so common that many people don't think twice about seeing them. This is Fa, not her real name. For years, she practiced cosmetic procedures on herself before treating others. Now she sees about two clients a day. Today, she's visiting one of her regulars, Da, for an eye thread lift. Mm. 
Fuss says she learned her craft shadowing a cosmetic doctor, but she can't afford to get a license herself. That means she can't advertise. So people hear about her through word of mouth. <laughs> Fuss starts by injecting a local anesthetic to numb the treatment area. Then she uses a needle to puncture the skin and pull the threads through. <laughs> While this procedure is less invasive than a typical facelift, it doesn't come without risks, like an allergic reaction to the threading material or an infection around the incision. But Fa knows her limits. The average monthly salary in Bangkok is about $650. But Fa earns roughly $2,800. She says some bag doctors can earn up to $30,000 a month. Da does worry about possible side effects. But she can't afford to pay top dollar and is willing to take the risk. She says she got her break in real estate thanks to cosmetic enhancements. And now, she's hooked. <laughs> While Western looks are still considered desirable, there's also a more local beauty craze. Right now, Korean K-pop trend is just dominating the world. That looks like having wide eyes, high nose bridge, full lips, pale skin, essentially looking perfect. Emmy is a mental health advocate in Bangkok. She says young people feel the pressure to conform more than most. So when you're constantly being reminded that you're inadequate, that you're not good enough, and you're being presented the solution that if you get this nose job or this breast augmentation, then you'll feel better about yourself and you'll live a happier life, it's this constant chase that never ends. Dr. Tape Wadewasid has been a plastic surgeon for 35 years. He spends a lot of his time undoing the mistakes of bag doctors. And sometimes their work is unfixable. After a British woman died under anesthesia in 2014, Thai police arrested and charged the practitioner with causing death by reckless endangerment. Dr. Simpop Sinsiri was reportedly only qualified as a general practitioner. But just weeks after the incident, he was back treating patients at another clinic. In Thailand, there are looser malpractice laws and protections than in the U.S. And it's rare for the courts to award significant damages. Police are starting to crack down on illegal practices. But they're still rampant. In 2022, eight fake doctors were charged with running medical clinics and performing services without a license, and selling unregistered medications. Thai authorities seized over 800 items in the raid. Even after her botched procedure, Molly isn't ready to give up on cosmetic enhancements altogether. <laughs> And for her, there's no limit to reinvention. Her next nose job will involve taking cartilage from her rib. มีค่าศึกษาเสียงอ๋อไอ้ส่วนที่มาทําจมูกได้อ่ะแม่แต่ส่วนนี้ทําจมูกได้ก็ค่าละ <laughs> 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 <laugh
ที่มันเปลี่ยนไปเลยอะค่ะเป็นอีกคนหนึ่งไปเลยอะ